My name is Jason. I'm a ham radio operator that runs another channel on YouTube called Ham Radio 2.0. This is a brand new channel for me that I'm calling Unplugged, which will feature off-grid gear reviews. I don't live off-grid. I have aspirations to live off-grid someday, but this is going to be a documentation of my journey to go from grid living to off-grid living and what gear I need to be successful in that endeavor. So today we're talking about the Faraday Defense dry bag. It's called a Black Stealth Faraday dry bag from a company called Faraday Defense. You can find a link in the description below to this bag and several other things they offer. And we're going to do some testing on it today and see if it does block signals. It's got a nice backpack strap on it like this. You can wear it as a backpack. You can tie up the top of it here to keep it dry. Typical dry bag roll. Roll it together, snap it like that, like most dry bags do. This one has two straps that go over the top of it as well. So you can double strap it down here and here. Keeps all your contents in there nice and safe. And then you can put it on as a backpack with these back with these nice padded backpack straps. We can do that. I'm gonna show you the inside of it as well. What it calls right here, it says built to block signal. Hopefully you can see that in camera because it's black on black, kind of hard to see. But then it's got this material inside. You can kind of hear it if you twist it around. And uh, it's signal blocking technology inside of a bag. So we're gonna test that right now and see how well it works. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I've got two ham radio HTs. KC5 HWB testing. KC5 HWB testing on 146.52. So I've got two HTs, and you can hear that right now. I'm gonna turn this one way up so that it makes a lot of noise, just like that, that's full volume. Just like that, and I'm gonna put it inside this bag, and then I'm gonna key up again and see if, it, see if I can hear the radio from right here. Curious to see if that works. Ooh, that does work. KC5 HWB. Ah, I okay. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I get just a little bit. All right, so right next to it, if I'm right next to it, KC5 HWB testing. If you can hear that, hopefully you can hear that, but it's real distorted. KC5 HWB testing. Okay, there, right. okay there, it, there it's blocked. There it's not blocked. But I'm right next to it, okay? So I'm right flunking next to it. Okay, so if I get out here, I'm going to move back. I'm going to move back. KC5 HWB testing. And the signal's gone right here. The signal's gone right there. Right there. There it is. And it's all distorted. It's all distorted. I'm two feet away from the bag right now. Transmitting five watts into a radio that should be hearing it plenty. I'm going to do the same test, taking it out of the bag and show you the difference. So it's definitely blocking signals right here. I'm going to lay it down just like that. Okay. KC5 HWB testing. And I'm going back, and I'm going back, and I'm going to stand way back here. So it was not hearing me from this far away while the radio was inside the bag. But now it's full open transmit, as well it should be. The range on these HTs is probably somewhere around, well, as I say, people are always asking range of radios when I do a radio review. And the range is really kind of almost unlimited if you have line of sight. You can use a handheld transceiver especially if you have a Yagi antenna, but you can use a five watt handheld to talk to the International Space Station or to talk to amateur radio satellites. And those are straight up with nothing in between you and that station, that satellite or, or the ISS. But you can't talk that far on ground waves because you've got trees and buildings and elevations, all kinds of stuff in between you. So, but, it, but this close together, five feet right here. KC5 HWB testing testing a signal blocking technology on this Faraday defense bag, KC5 HWB. You can hear that perfectly, but if you put it inside the bag, it gets real, dis yeah, you can hear it when you're right next to it, but hopefully you can hear inside the camera that it was really distorted. Okay, right there. So it's real quiet right now, I can hear it. I don't know if the camera can hear it or not, but I can. But it gets real distorted, and then if you move away from it, like right now, you can't hear it at all. Right now, hello, one, two, three. Yeah, it's real distorted right there, and it doesn't work when you get, you can 
hear the static in it. Hopefully that the camera can hear that. And it's completely blocked at this point. So it is definitely doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's try another test real quick. I'm going to go over to the NOAA weather station. Paris, cloudy, 75, south at 20. This is 162.425. I've got it on receive, this radio. This is NOAA weather closest to me right now. I'm going to turn this radio all the way up, put it in the bag, and see how much it receives. Because this is real far away. This is a lot farther away than my HT standing here next to me. Winds 10 to 15 miles. It's coming southwest 15 to 20. As soon as I put it in the bag, it goes away. Totally gone. Cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Yep, I don't even, I'm not even closing the top of the bag, and it's gone. 14 miles an hour. So what that tells me is that this is really good at blocking signals that you're not, if you're standing next to an EMP blast, you've probably got bigger problems than whatever electronics you're carrying in your bag. <laughs> but if you are wanting to be tracked by, or wanting to not be tracked by GPS, this will block that signal. If you want to just keep your stuff safe from all kinds of electrical interference, it doesn't even have to be as, something as significant as an EMP. If you have like an electric, if you're nearby a transforming station, if you're by a, a power grid station, or you have some sort of lightning strike near you, okay, and it sends this surge through the air, it's going to, it could potentially affect electronic equipment in your area. And something like this is not a guaranteed stop, but it certainly doesn't hurt anything, and it might just save your equipment from being affected by some sort of EMP or solar um, flare-up or something like that. So, in my opinion, this is a very good bag. We're going to do some more testing with it in future videos for the waterproofing of it and taking it on hikes and whatnot. So, thanks for watching today. Put your comments below. Let me know if you have this bag, if you have anything else by Faraday Defense, because I'd be interested in reviewing some of their other products as well. And what you think about, um, what, if you have some other sort of solution for this type of environment, this type of situation, I would love to hear from you and let, you, let me know what it is. Put a comment below. Thanks for watching today.